This is the one right here. I can feel it. The After Dark Club. Hottest acts anywhere. Guys, it sounds classy. You think we should have called for reservations? You're gonna have a big party tonight, right? And for this party, you're definitely gonna need party stuff. Stuff. What? You're gonna need booze? Booze. You're gonna need tunes? Tunes. You're gonna need entertainment? Booze is easy. We provide it. Anything at all, anything you need, and we're in. Anything? Greetings, Gorehounds and Fright Freaks. This is Ben with 80s Horse Central, back with another Monster Mash mini review. And in this review, I wanna take a look at an often overlooked and underappreciated horror comedy, Vamp from 1986. Vamp was made on a budget of $3.3 million and grossed almost $5 million at the box office. The film was released on home video by New World Video, where it found most of its cult audience. The first time I viewed this flick was after renting the VHS tape from my local video store. I found the film to be quite jarring and confusing tonally on my first watch, as the VHS box made no mention of it being a black comedy. Later home video releases on DVD and Blu-ray have since eliminated that fusion and outright state it's a horror comedy. Since that initial viewing, my appreciation and enjoyment of the flick has only grown over the years. So let's sink our teeth into this underrated vampire horror comedy in Vamp Out. <laughs> Keith and AJ are best friends and fraternity pledges that head to the seedy side of the city in search of strippers, and discover a sinister spot called the After Dark Club. But when the bar's luscious dancers turn out to be bloodthirsty vampires led by the kinky Katrina, the evening takes on a freaky new twist. Can these guys survive a bizarre onslaught of vixens and vamps? Or will the armies of the undead take the ultimate bite out of their night? I'm loyal to you forever. I will be more careful. <coughs> vamp is a well-made and entertaining vampire comedy that features a great cast of actors as well as a fun, and at the time, original narrative. By now, the premise of vampire or zombie strippers is played out, but in 1986, it was still a pretty unique and original concept. The film features solid production values, some beautiful lighting, and creative cinematography. I really enjoyed all the green and pink lighting they used in the film. It adds a really cool visual style to the proceedings and fits well into the movie's 1980s aesthetics. The special effects are convincing and well done. The vampires look creepy, and the gory bits in the film are handled well, a highlight being the tense and disturbing scene where Katrina kills AJ after some seduction. For a film set in a strip club, the movie actually features very little nudity. The strip teases in the film are comically mundane, and have obviously been choreographed and themed to be more amusing rather than sexy. Grace Jones still manages to be seductive and exotic though in her non-speaking role as Katrina, the Egyptian queen of the vampires. She performs a rather bizarre strip tease that leads the patrons to have one of the most appropriate reactions I've seen in a movie. The cast in the movie is great. Chris Makepeace from Meatballs and the criminally underrated My Bodyguard stars as the film's lead hero Keith. He is likable in the lead and handles the comedy and action bits well. The real star of the flick though is my dude Robert Rustler as AJ, but he'll always be Grady to me. I'm scared, Grady. Something is trying to get inside my body. Yeah, and she's female and she's waiting for you in the cabana. And you want to sleep with me. Rustler is great as the tough, smart-ass sidekick who comes back as a vampire. He has great chemistry with Makepeace, and the two make a great comedic horror duo. Rustler also has some of the funniest lines in the movie, and his character helps end the film with some touching humor. The rest of the cast includes Dee Dee Pfeiffer, Billy Drago, and Sixteen Candles' Getty Watanabe. The film's characters are all well-developed and memorable. Horror films have a tendency on occasion to have the supporting characters be half-baked or devoid of personality, but Vamp does the opposite and makes every character personable and interesting. Whether it be the Renfield-esque club DJ and his obsession with moving the operation to Las Vegas, or the bizarre albino gang that is hunting down Keith and AJ out in the streets. Vamp also makes the seedy vampire part of town seem otherworldly through its deserted appearance in the day, the aforementioned green and pink street lighting, 
and the Wizard of Oz tornado swerve that lands their car in Vamp Town. I found it pretty humorous that the vampires slept in the sewers during the day, but then at night just worked mundane everyday jobs. You're carrying my next meal around with you in your veins! They got me. They got me real good. Okay. Why don't you take what you need for now? I, you know, to get you through? <laughs> That's too much. And you're so nice. Do I look like a mosquito? No. The film moves along at a good pace, and the movie's subtext on urban decay and the suburbanites' fear of the other creates an interesting metaphor for the vampires. One could even say the movie can be seen as a drug metaphor, as AJ even states they made him a junkie for blood. The film is more intelligent than it gets credit for. I also find the film to feature some clever vampire moments, like how the strippers have to do each other's makeup since they have no reflection to do their own. On the negative side, the film does feature a generic and forgettable musical score, and the ending is a bit predictable and rushed. In conclusion, Vamp is a campy and over-the-top horror comedy that features good performances from a stellar cast and a stylish production. The humor is hit or miss, but the film's camp and subtext lend it one hell of a bite. I consider Vamp to be one of the more overlooked horror flicks from the great decade of excess, and I recommend it. Hi. And jobs? I'll, uh, I'll take a graveyard shift. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Keith? Relax. I'll take care of everything. Follow us. <laughs> I'm right below you, pal.